under the arch, a gateway to a city and a portal to the past. The people of Ravenna commemorating the arrival of Canadian soldiers to their city on December 4th, 1944. This year, with help from the pipes and drums of the Canadian Armed Forces, a salute to those who walked through the gate and beyond 75 years ago. The Italian campaign swept from the south to the north over a 20-month challenge to the Germans. 15 Canadian veterans of those battles are here this week. I started in Sicily and, and worked all the way up. Gordon Fennell is alive, he says, because he was carrying shoes his mother sent him when he got engaged. These are shoes because I, I didn't want to get married in tank boots. They were beside him and protected him from shrapnel when his tank was attacked. Those are lucky shoes when he... Yeah, well, yes, to save my life. 93,000 Canadians took part in the campaign. Nearly 6,000 died. Today, Canada's Governor General Julie Payette led the tribute. I heard it, I felt it. Canada remembers. We know that Italy remembers. We will never forget. Nous n'oublierons jamais. Veterans of the Italian campaign will tell you they feel it was overshadowed by other events in the war, the D-Day landings, the push towards Germany but some of the hardest fought battles of the war took place here. Another cemetery where Canadian soldiers lie, shadows stretching out behind their graves like men longing to stand again. Rosalia Fantoni has spent her life documenting them. She is the guardian of their memory, she says, for they were the guardians of her childhood. She was four when the Canadians arrived in Villanova, not long after her father was hung by the Germans. My work comes from a sense of gratitude, she says. I want people and school children to remember what we have now is because these soldiers saved our lives. For the veterans, the passing of the torch is critical. I loved having so many school children here with it. Veteran Don White worries the world still hasn't learned from the horrors of war. I don't know how to express it, but it makes me a little disappointed that people today can't get along the way they should. And I mean worldwide. Wisdom in danger of fading from sight if the past slips away. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Ravenna, Italy.